Now then, she is our go-to scientist who's made it rain in the studio, caused huge explosions and even helped us walk on water. Oh, look at those. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Uh, amazing. Uh, today... So, oh, those are the days, eh, when you could actually be together and go outside. Uh, Zoe Lachlan is, uh, is back now with some more experiments, uh, some of which you can try at home. Hi, it's lovely to see you. And you. Welcome to my home lab studio come playpen. Um, I've you. got a few demos that we can all do together, in fact. Great. Okay. Let's have a look. What are you going to do? In front? Right. So the first thing, the first question really is, will a paperclip float on water? So you'll need a paperclip and you'll need a container of water. So you've got one there. Just see if you can get it to float on the surface. You know, will it float is the first question. What no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, OK. But there is a way in which you can make it float because water has a really high surface tension. So you want to take a paperclip and you want to grab the middle section and you want to open it up. So you've got a little L shape, OK? Yeah. So that's going to be the um, kind of little handle. And then you want to get another paper clip and rest it on top. So it's kind of like you're carrying it. Oh, oh God, I've got shaky hands. Hold so on. I dropped it. So that oh, proves it sugar. doesn't float with if you're not careful. So then you want to balance the paper clip on oh, top sugar. and slowly lower it into the water and then remove the paper clip from underneath and oh, it will float no. on top. I keep I keep dropping dropping the surface right. tension of water is so strong that it will actually, if you're careful and lower the object flat straight onto the surface, I've done those it. hydrogen I've done bonds it. in the water, done you've done it. it. <laughs> <laughs> well done. It's a bit so of metal know. floating on water. How did you get you let, can let float. go? I, I balanced it on top, Phil, so you don't hang it off it, you balance it like that, ah. and then you lower it down. I don't know how to do that. Like that. Um, look, look. Let me do it on yours. Look. Oh, I've got you. I understand. No, don't go too close. Get back. Oh, two meters. Two meters. I Get back sorry. in your own area. Sorry. Right. Hang on. I've got it now. Right. Okay. There we go. I'm going to do this now. There it is. There you right. go. Yep. Just well didn't done. understand the instructions. Attention. Right. Thank you. Next one. Right. So next we've got. Everyone loves bubbles. Who doesn't love bubbles? But this is the secret to super strong bubbles. And the question is, can you catch a bubble? And not only catch it, but bounce it, OK? Oh. So you'll have a solution in front of you. This is normal detergent, about a finger full of it, and then a bit of glycerin. That helps make a really strong mixture. So ordinarily, lovely bubbles, they're so tempting, you want to try and catch them. But actually, the oil in, natural oils in your hand break the surface tension of that bubble, OK? But there is a way you can catch it. Pop your glove on. Oh, my glove. And now have a go at blowing a bubble. With a glove. Oh, hang on. My technique's poor. Here we go. Have we blown one? Yes, Phil! And bounce it! Oh, yeah! It. So why does that work with gloves on? Taking the bubble, the oils and sweat in your hand, and the low surface contact of the ball, much lower surface contact. That's amazing! Take bubbles and bounce it. Love that. That's, one, that's so cool. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is how you bounce a bubble, not just catch a bubble, but bounce it. Love that. Okay. So there's another way to make bubbles at home. Um, if, like me, you've been using lockdown as a chance to have a bit of a sort out, I, in fact, opened a box I probably haven't looked in for five years and um, found some old CDs. And if you have the patience, you can scrape away the aluminium from the surface of the CD, OK? So you're then left with this clear plastic CD. And this type of plastic is what's called a thermoplastic. This will essentially soften when heated rather than burn, OK? So if I use my little blowtorch, you can do this at home. If you're careful, I think adults should really be doing this under supervision of children. Um, huh. uh, you want to heat it up until the plastic in the middle starts to sag, OK, and turn liquid. And then you want to blow it. Do we go? <gasps> oh, I popped it. OK, hold on. One more try. So I see you. So you're making a bubble. And... OK. Oh, oh. come on, like belly. So what, what, what's it meant to do? Well, it's, you, coming you, out, you, it's coming I, out like a finger. Yeah, it will come out like a big, big sheath. <laughs> Oh, really? 
Oh, oh that's a tiny one. No, hold it okay, up. Let's have a look. Hold it up. Let's have a look. Particularly well. Oh, it can yes. Be... No, we can really see that. <laughs> I'll have to do a sort of at home extra on Twitter version of this to show you how well it can go. That's right. You've still got a minute to go, so it's fine. Don't worry. And that's because it's this special plastic, so that won't work with everything. It's just that it's that thermoplastic. Well, that was destroyed earlier. Oh, it's a hovercraft CD. So those CDs from Mother Life, okay? Got 45 seconds. Get CD and add a lid to it, put a hole through it, and glue it onto the CD, okay? Yeah. Then you want to get the balloon and I put it over the top of the, of the nipple of the lid, all right? I put a clip on it just so that I don't hold it. And then when you take the clip away, suddenly the air is then expelled through the very small hole and suddenly... It's a hovercraft! It's a hovercraft! It can glide. Now, this is great if you've... Whoa, it's gone off the face! <laughs> yeah, it's great if you've got smooth floors at home. You can I love that. Again. Well That's done, Zoe. Good. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you very much.